What is going on guys? My name is Rama back again from Open Reviews here with another episode reaction to The Promised Neverland Episode 7. If you guys can probably see by the title, I'm going to be changing the title a bit. For some reason, whenever I put The Promised Neverland, it, the traction kind of goes away. For example, I actually looked up my actual video and it wasn't even showing up. So I'm going to go change the title and yeah, I'll probably go back and change the titles of the other ones as well. But I'm ready to jump into this episode. Last episode actually gave me goosebumps with... Uh, with uh the sister crone at the v at near the end of the episode where they showed her basically uh when they're walking by and then they just show her face and then immediately she appears on the other side which was a, a bit of an odd thing to see at the same time i'm gonna take off my glasses i just realized i was doing a weird glare effect but at the end she was saying that she overheard them the entire time she knew about their plan and that she wanted to join forces now a lot of people are continuing like people who have read the original series are basically keep like they love crone and i'm trying to figure out why yes yeah, she is a crazy character but everyone like seems the lover and they're not explaining and they, they basically say we like her for her own for our own reasons and i've wanted to see what what reasons those are maybe we're gonna get a little bit more into this um i have no idea if the intro plays at first i'm gonna go give some of my predictions um during then um or later on we'll see what happens so guys without further ado let us jump into episode 7 of the promise of land i'm really looking forward to this episode so without further ado let's jump in in three Two, one, let's jam. As you guys can see, I did change the, uh, this. Yeah, that. <laughs> Gonna go change it just slightly. He's actually taking her word for it? But why? Oh shit, she's also... She's also been branded. Oh fuck. Okay, well that throws a, that throws a twist into the uh, equation. Oh shit. Um... So you can actually survive? You can actually survive after being branded? Okay, interesting. Oh, shit. I, okay, I wasn't expecting this. Think about this. After this episode, there's only five more episodes of this series, and there's so many... Th I don't know how they're going to make this only 12 episodes, in all honesty. I don't know how they're going to wrap up this... How, how they're going to make a climax in five episodes. Oh, man. All right, so... Crap, all right. My well, my predictions are gone out the window now that <laughs> this happens. I was not expecting Crone to be a, a be branded. Oh shit. So, I'm guessing being the mother, quote unquote, gives you a lot of leeway somehow. It, it, you got to be able to get privileges from that. That's the only thing I can think of. Well, very odd. Very, very odd. We'll see what happens, though. None. I wonder if Isabel also has the markings on her neck, too. It explodes? Okay. 
It makes sense now. Oh, so. Oh my, this is, oh, I don't, this is a weird situation to be in, in all honesty, but Norman and Emma are going to, of course, figure this out. I wouldn't know how to. She, he's going to say no. No, you know, he is, no. So, yeah, what is, and what's the role of a sister? What's the role of a sister? That's another thing. Kind of, she has a point. Ah, oh, this is ah, oh, I don't, I, I, I. Oh, this is this is crazy. This. Oh, this is oh I don't know how I feel about this I don't like I have to say I still don't trust crone yeah Because she wants a guarantee. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, information is kind of vital right now. Why was that not focused? That was a weird... This is a really good show, by the way. I, I must say that... I think this is one of the most top. Uh, this is one of the top-rated shows of this uh, season outside of Mob Psycho. So that defocus was on purpose because it was looking at the back of the room, and then Emma stood up, and then it focused the the camera focused again. Now what is that? Is it? I don't know. A suitcase? Man, these shots are so weird. <laughs> Ugh, fucking Crone is so creepy. 
Crone is probably one of the creepiest characters. Isabella had the creepiest moment for a second when she was staring at Emma in episode 2 and then the face she made at the end of episode 1. Is she going to introduce it all? Oh, okay. That's fucking creepy. Put that away. I don't want to see that. Well, it genuinely surprised her. The po the pocket watch, yeah. <sighs> what is up with this shot? These shots. So they're playing dumb about the le about where it is. Ooh, that would be bad. It's fucking st ugh. This show is like legitimately knows how to creep me out. It's weird. Twenty eight. No. Oh. Plant three. So she's only been on farms. Sorry for not talking too much. I had to pay attention. The fact that there was only the sound of the clock adds to the... I have a feeling that the doll... It, I knew it. I fucking knew the doll was part of it. But how'd she... How'd she figure it out? I had a feel. No, uh, it, the doll's gotta be something. Facial expressions. Yeah. Yeah.
fuck. Crone had them figured out. The bo the big boss. Oh my Jesus. She she has the reins. A c camera? It looks almost like a Polaroid camera. It is a Polaroid camera. His shipment? <sighs> Is it time? I have... Dude, this show gives me chills. This show gives me chills. No, it's not even close. This isn't close to the end of the... I I'm only 17 minutes into my recording. This show legitimately has me on the edge of my seat the entire time. It's been a while since I've had a show that has this creepiness, this air of mysteriousness and creepiness around it, and I love it. This is going to be the day they, this is going to be their scout. So I have a feeling the end of, I, I, I don't know if they're going to leave the farm on by the end of the 12th episode. Oh my god, Crone.
Let me guess, they're gonna see it. She's gonna run to Isabella. Look at the sh the way this is. Is Isabella gonna be right there? I think his name is Phil, right? Someone had a... I remember another fellow reactor, Kawaii Crew, was saying that he seems a little bit too... He seems to know where things are. He... Ap he appeared... In the room, in Isabel's room, he appeared here. What if? What the fuck is going on? Is she getting shipped out? What the fuck is going on? I can't even theory craft. I can't theory craft. You know, I'm usually good at theater craft and at least trying to predict. I have no idea what the fuck's going on now. What was the weakness that was in the note? Why are she? Why is she getting sent back? I I, I have no fucking clue. I, I have no fucking clue anymore about this show. I have no clue what the fuck the show is anymore. What the fuck? This was, not only was it one of the creepiest show, one of the creepiest episodes in the show, it had this air of mysteriousness and just dread about it almost. It seemed like Crone was winning and winning and winning. 
And then, but it it seemed like the three of them, Ray, Norman, and Emma, tricked her with fake information. What I'm guessing, which was in that piece of paper, which I don't remember. I, I don't know what's in that piece of paper. I don't think they talked about it before. Phil just also Phil the little kid. I'm guessing that I think that's his name. Phil just seems like he, he knows something. Maybe Phil is also a double agent. But it's weird though. Phil appeared in um, Isabella's room. Phil also. I, I I need to see what else Phil was in. Um, I need to rewatch some things of where Phil is in because I have a feeling Phil. I, I like I said. I I I'm hoping that that is his name. But the the little kid. He he he's got to be something. He, like he's got to be like some type of scout because who would expect a little kid like a little tiny little. I don't know how old he is. Maybe four or five six. No one would expect that. But he's been showing up. Where. He's been showing up and doing things where he's not supposed to while the other people, now the core five, have been. It's, there's so much suspicions going on in this show. Oh, man. And this was by far probably my favorite episode of the season, of the series so far. I, I, I just don't know how this is going to end up. But we will see what happens. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this. Hopefully you guys like my new style. I am doing it this way. I hope I'm not getting. I hope I don't get hit with a copyright um, claim. I really hope. Um, but if I if I do, I'll switch back to my original style. But I liked it this way because I don't know the other one. Like it was blocking too much, and with this, at least you can be able to see a little bit behind it from what I'm looking at right now. But yeah, anyways, guys. Oh man, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go watch Kagegurui, because <laughs> uh, I I actually need something that I can dairy craft on, and Kagegurui I can so far, and then I'm going to watch uh, Gotoba no Hane on my. It's gonna be a big flop from in terms of like super serious which is so and then lightheartedness with Gotoba no Hane on my. But yeah, all right guys, hopefully you guys enjoyed this episode reaction. But oh, I, I I'm at a loss for words. One of the first times I've actually been lost for words. So. Thanks. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys soon. See ya.